Welcome to East West Beats and today I want to show you a really really simple tutorial on how to export stems. Let's say you make beats and you want to send it to somebody for mixing or you just want to send your stems over to someone. How exactly do you do that? I know a lot of you have been asking me and a lot of my studio clients also ask me the same question on how do they once they make a beat how do they send it to people for mixing. Now two main things you want to keep in mind is that you want to either send them dry signal or wet signal and also you want to check whether they want the volume and the pan assignment with the files that means do they want the eq that you apply to a particular chain to be bounced with it or they don't or also if the volume is negative 14 right here do they want it to be negative 14 or do they want it to be at zero this will be different depending on the mix artist you work with. A lot of the artists really just want to send the leveling as they've done it. A lot of the mix engineers want everything at zero. So I will show you multiple things on how to do that. So first, once you have the beat ready, just make sure any tracks that you're not used are probably deleted or hidden. I like to hit select, hit H and hide them. So now you have all your stems right here. Now, one thing I like to do is once the song is done is I bring the end more Marker, probably just a bar or a couple bars out of the last section. I select all the tracks. Now comes the fun part. You go to file and you go to export 25 tracks, which is all the tracks or you select all the tracks. So normally this could be less. So if I, if I were to choose just 17 tracks and go here, it would say 17 tracks, but we want to select all the tracks, file, export, all tracks as audio files. Now you want to go on your desktop and you want to make a folder saying test folder. Now once you're here, what you want to do is it has an option for the range. Trim silence at the end means it goes to the end. Export cycle range only. That means if you have a four bar selected, it will only do it for that. If you have extend file length to the project end, that means where the end marker is, that's what it will do. So that's what I like to do. End file length to project end. Now here you have your option of doing it in AIF, WAVE or CAF. You can choose that bit depth of 24 bit now here comes the important things that you need to worry about bypass effect plugins now this is gonna if you check this it's gonna make sure that eq compression or any effect that you have done is not gonna get exported also include volume and pan automation almost all the engineers i worked with they do not want it to be panned or adjusted to a particular volume that you had you just bounce your regular track and then you send them everything as a dry signal i normally turn overload protection off because i make sure my levels are not clipping and all you have to do is hit export and what this will do is this will export the stems and then once they are done you can just zip the folder and you can send that over to your engineer now also another thing is let's say you want to just export this track as a reference you go to file bounce and project or selection once that is done you have an option of choosing a wav file mp3 file and for a file so i normally ch bounce a wav file and an mp3 file choose the highest rate mp3 for pcm you can choose wave aif again same options whatever rate sample rate you want to bounce it at and i hit normalization is off because i do have channel uh, effects on the my master bus and you hit ok and that will bounce a track again guys that's a very simple way of exporting stems for sending it to your mix engineer to your other artists that you're collaborating with and also how to bounce a track i hope that was helpful if you guys like the content make sure you share subscribe and i'll see you guys at the next one